Martha Turk, Administrator for Nantucket Census Complete Count Committee. Today I'm talking with Peter Greenhouse, Richard Moore, and Mara Lival about the 2020 U.S. Census. We know that many members of our community have questions about this constitutionally mandated count, and we're here to help because an accurate census will help Nantucket receive federal funding for the next 10 years to support programs we all rely on to meet the need of all Islanders, and because our representation in Congress and the Electoral College is dependent on our population count, we want to be sure that we get the resources and representation that we deserve. The point of a complete census count is to be able to meet everyone's needs. We want to be able to get what we deserve for you because you are a part of Nantucket. So with that, Peter, what's on your mind? Thank you, Martha. Could you please explain how the census relates to emergency funding, as in first responders, firefighters, police officers? What does this mean for Nantucket? Sure, Peter, in, in times like these, that's a really topical question. Thanks for asking. So federal funding for emergency response services, public safety, and emergency management, including to some degree COVID management, is allocated based on census data. Funding for emergency preparedness and in the aftermath of natural disasters and emergencies is also based on population data gleaned from the census. Uh, for instance, CARES Act funding that um, is applicable right now. Thank you. Anything else on your mind, Peter? Um, I'm curious about how it affects the elderly services, which are greatly utilized by many in the winter months. Census data informs uh, funding for programs across the country and on Nantucket, such as Medicare Part B allocations, grants for social services, food assistance, and rental and housing assistance, all of which can be very meaningful for our um, uh, elder neighbors. On Nantucket specifically, uh, Salt Marsh provides a lot of services that are funded in part based on census data. Uh, these include nutrition programs, fitness programs, social services, advocacy programs, uh, and uh, these are important services that our, that our elder neighbors rely on. Great, thank you. Mara, how about you? What's on your mind? Hi, Marta. I'm so happy to be here. There's quite a few things in my mind, but I'm going to take it very direct with you because uh, communicating with other people, uh, I feel this question need answer to put people maybe at ease. Okay. Uh, it has actually three parts, so bear with me. Can census statistics could be used to retaliate? against the island or any city where immigrants are welcome? That's the first part of the question. And the second part is, what about if they find a large number of undocumented immigrants living here? What will happen? The next part I will ask you after those answers. This is a really great question, and it underscores the completely justifiable and understandable concern about whether a person's status is a part of the census. It is emphatically not a part of the census. The census does not have a citizenship question. It does not ask about immigration status. It does ask about race and ethnicity because certain programs are available to help certain parts of our community. Uh, but the census should reflect the full diversity of our community in terms of age and gender and background because knowing who lives here helps our local leaders understand our needs better. Um, as I said, I, I, I know that there's a lot of, there's a lot of concern about this, uh, but it's really more important than ever to be known and, and be heard in order to be able to get funding for the services we all need. The next question I would ask, if there was, there is no retaliation, and as a, someone that is uh, undocumented, I know based on many things, many factors, I don't count. I, I, I don't receive anything from the government. In what way, 
showing up. Let my name, let myself be counted will serve me or my family how is or my community in general another great question first of all again whether you're documented or undocumented whether you're a citizen no matter your status the census doesn't ask any questions about that but for everyone living here there are community services available and the funding for those community services is based on a census count. So if you use health clinics, if your children get free or reduced school lunches, if you use the food pantry, uh, all of these things and more are, are funded based on our census count. So it does make a difference for you and your family and for your neighbors and for all of us for you to be counted. Thank you so much. I just want to know as well if people that speak different languages can access or if people showing up the, at their door, if they are able to just navigate through the census online or get it completed with them. There are many options for responding to the census. You can meet with a census taker that comes to your door and if they don't speak your language, they can find someone to come back who can help you. You can also take the census online at 2020census.gov. There's an informational video at nantucketfootprints.net that shows you how to do that and how to select your language. You can also complete the census by phone in 13 languages. Do the people that show up at your door has some kind of identification so you don't need to be scared to just talk to them? Perfect question, absolutely. Census takers will have official badges, official devices, and official bags with the US Census Bureau logo. Uh, if you want to know more about how to identify a census taker, you can look on the Town of Nantucket's Facebook page. We have um, both in English and Spanish uh, some information about that. Thank you, I think I'm going to stop now. <laughs> questions. Thank you so much. Great. Mo, well, what's on your mind? I would like to know, how does the census relate to food assistance? Really, really great question. Because even without the impact of the public health crisis, there are many among us uh, for whom food security is a very real, very real issue. Uh, I'm glad to share what I know about how food assistance is generated. Some funding comes from federal and state sources and some from private funders, but both government and private funders rely on census statistics to determine the need in any given community. Uh, free and reduced breakfast and lunch programs in the schools are federal programs, as is SNAP. Uh, food assistance through the Nantucket Food Pantry is made possible by a combination of government grants and private funding through charitable organizations that support regional food banks. So. Uh, it's not just um, it's not just government funding or, that is relying upon census statistics. Private funders that support programs and services we all need rely on census data to make their funding decisions. Also, how does it, the census relate to healthcare? Sure, sure. Um, there are a, a lot of programs that are. Um, funding for which is based on census data. Medicare reimbursement, Medicaid allocation, and funding for the state children's health uh, insurance program are all based on census statistics. And there are also um, community grants that are available for programs such as such substance abuse prevention and treatment, maternal and child health services, community mental health services, family violence prevention and services, and also preventive health and health services. So a, a, lot, of, a lot of healthcare uh, and wellness programs depend on census data for funding. Would you say in some way that it's just as important to be counted in the census as it is to vote? What a timely question, Mo. And my answer is absolutely. It's just as important to be counted in the census as it is to vote. Because being counted now means being heard and having an impact on the future of our community for the next 10 years. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mo.
And thank you all for bringing such great questions to us. Uh, uh, thank you all for taking the census and being counted. Please be sure to encourage your, your friends, your, your colleagues, your neighbors, your family members, everyone you know, to take the census online at 2020census.gov before September 30th. I also want to mention that there are census takers in the community now going door to door to help people take the census uh, in person. These people are here to help. They are trained. They are trained in uh, public health protocols. And uh, they, they're here to make it easy for everyone to respond so that Nantucket achieves as complete a count as possible. 